Imagine you are on vacation on the Italian coast, enjoying the sun, the sea, and a delicious pizza. Suddenly the earth shakes, a deafening rumble is heard, and a gigantic wave races towards you. This could soon become a bitter reality, and the culprit is a volcano that most of you have never heard of, because it is not the Phlegraean Fields. Stay tuned to the end to learn all about the dangers of Europe's largest underwater volcano. Welcome, friends. Ciao ragazzi, today we're talking about Italian volcanoes again, but you've probably never heard of this one. If you're as fascinated by volcanoes as I am and want to be informed immediately about every eruption, why not subscribe and activate the bell? It's absolutely free, you'll never miss a video again, and you'll be helping me immensely. Grazie mille. So now let's dive into the depths of the Tyrrhenian Sea, or more precisely to an underwater volcano called Marsili. Never heard of it? Don't worry, you're not alone. Although Marsili is the largest active underwater volcano in Europe, it leads a shadowy existence in the depths of the Mediterranean, but that could change suddenly because Marsili has the potential to trigger a huge catastrophe. But let's start at the beginning. Where is this mysterious volcano located? Marsili is located about 150 kilometers south of Naples and just as far west of Calabria. Imagine drawing a line from Catania to Naples. Somewhere in the middle of this line, deep below the surface of the sea, Marsili lurks. And when I say deep below the sea surface, I mean it. The summit of Marsili is still 450 to 500 meters below sea level. From there, it extends another 3,000 meters to the seabed. By way of comparison, if Marsili were a land volcano, it would be higher than Mont Blanc, the highest mountain in the Alps. And that's not all. Marsili is not only high, it is also incredibly vast. It covers an area of 70 by 30 kilometers, which is about the size of Lake Constance, a volcano the size of Lake Constance and higher than Mont Blanc, hidden under the waves of the Mediterranean, a destructive lava giant that most of us have never heard of. Now you might be thinking, so what if there's a big volcano under the sea? Who cares? Marsili is anything but inactive. It is an active volcano that could erupt at any time. And if it does, it will be very uncomfortable for the coastal regions of the Mediterranean. How dangerous is Marsili really? To understand that, we have to look at what could happen if it erupts. There are essentially two scenarios that are causing scientists to rack their brains. Scenario one, the big slide. Imagine you're building a sandcastle on the beach, piling up the sand higher and higher until the castle becomes unstable and collapses. Something similar could happen on Marsili. Its flanks are extremely steep and unstable, and if part of the volcano were to slip, it could trigger a huge underwater landslide. And what happens if millions of tons of rock suddenly start moving underwater? That's right, a tsunami. Scientists have calculated that such a tsunami could generate waves up to 20 meters high. By way of comparison, that's the length of about 77 Pizza Napoli. These waves would reach the coasts of southern Italy within a few minutes, and just imagine you're sitting comfortably on the beach in Cefalu, Sicily, and suddenly a wall of water as high as a multi-story building comes towards you. Not exactly the kind of cooling you want on vacation, is it? Scenario two, the big explosion. The second scenario is a classic volcanic eruption. Even if Marsili is underwater, it could still erupt explosively. Imagine opening a shaken bottle of sparkling water underwater. What happens? Large bubbles form, rise to the surface, and burst. Now imagine the same thing, but with molten rock under enormous pressure. The result would be a huge underwater explosion that could also trigger a tsunami. We saw how violent such an underwater volcanic eruption can be in 2022 with the Hunga Tonga eruption in the South Pacific. Here are the original recordings. And now imagine what you are seeing here in the narrow Mediterranean. Mamma mia. But it gets even better, or rather worse. Marsili is not just any volcano, it is the largest active underwater volcano in Europe. Its magma chamber, the area where the molten rock collects, is gigantic. It covers an area of about 8 square kilometers, which is about the size of 1,100 football fields. And this huge magma chamber is full to the brim with hot pressurized magma. Now you might be wondering, Wait a minute. If Marsili is so dangerous, why have I never heard of it before? That's what scientists are asking themselves too, because although Marsili has been known for almost a century, it has only been intensively researched in recent years. And that's despite the fact that it poses a real threat to millions of people. The problem is that monitoring underwater volcanoes is extremely difficult and extremely expensive. Scientists have to monitor a volcano that is not only underwater, but also hundreds of kilometers from the coast, which is no easy task. Geologist Carlo Doglioni, president of the Italian Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology says, we don't have an underwater monitoring system that allows us to fully understand the volcano's activity. 
It's like having a sleeping giant that we know is dangerous, but we can't even take its pulse. We don't know if it's fast asleep or about to wake up. And that's worrying, to say the least. And it's going to get even more worrying, because you know what the special thing about Marsili is? It's not the only underwater volcano in the area. It's part of a whole chain of underwater volcanoes that stretches along the coast of Sicily and southern Italy, so it's more like we have a whole bunch of sleeping giants right on our doorstep. Okay, that all sounds pretty scary, but surely something is being done to protect us well, the good news is that work is being done. The bad news is that it's going very slowly. A 2020 study looked at the tsunami risk in the southern Tyrrhenian Sea. Researchers concluded that we urgently need a better monitoring system, not just for Marsili, but for all the major underwater volcanoes in the region. They also call for an automatic warning system that can alert the population in the event of a tsunami. But even if we had a perfect monitoring system, would it be that effective? At best, it would give us a warning time. If we detect signs of an impending eruption or landslide, then the coastal areas could be evacuated. But we are talking about a warning time of maybe 20 minutes. Imagine you only had 20 minutes to get out of your house and to safety. That's not much time, is it? That's why experts like physicist Glauca Galotti say that educating the public is at least as important as technical monitoring. If people know how to behave in the event of a tsunami, it could save thousands of lives. So dear vacationers in Sicily, if you suddenly see the sea receding on the beach, don't run to the water to pick the delicious sea urchins that are surfacing. Run in the other direction as fast as you can. It's best to run up the slope of Mount Etna in the hope that it won't erupt then either. But there is also good news in all the doomsday scenarios. Marsili could be not only a threat, but also an opportunity, because where there is volcanic activity, there is also geothermal energy. Some scientists dream of using Marsili as a huge underwater power plant. The volcano, which poses a threat to millions of people, could at the same time produce electricity for just as many people, and it gets even better. Marsili is not only a potential energy source, but also a kind of underwater treasure trove. High concentrations of precious metals such as gold, silver, and copper are found in its rocks. It's as if we had a sleeping dragon underwater sitting on a pile of gold, except that this dragon could wake up at any time and spit fire. Which brings us to an interesting question. What weighs more heavily, the potential danger or the possible benefit? Should we leave Marsili alone and hope that he continues to slumber peacefully? Or should we try to plunder his energy and his treasures, even if that means that we might wake him up? It's a classic dilemma, risk versus benefit, and it shows once again how complex our planet is. Marsili is both a threat and an opportunity, a danger and a potential. It reminds us that we should never underestimate nature, but also that it offers us incredible possibilities if we learn to work with it instead of against it. Write to me in the comments and tell me what you think. Should we use Marsili for energy or resource extraction, or should we just leave it alone? Whatever the future holds for Marsili, one thing is certain, it will keep us busy for a long time to come. Whether as a sleeping giant that could wake up at any time, or as an underwater power plant of the future. Marsili remains super fascinating, and who knows, maybe one day it will be as famous as Vesuvius or Etna. The only difference is that it's underwater and we can't see it, but believe me, it's there and it's waiting. I found the thought kind of sweet that Marsili is sad that nobody knows him, and so I created an AI song about it, which turned out surprisingly well. Listen to it. Beneath the ocean's crest, Marsili, the hidden guest, the volcano with a Fiery core, yet the world knows him no more. And now the Subius, famous names, but Marsili hides in the flames. His power mighty and grand, yet unseen by the land. Marsili, oh Marsili. If you want to listen to the whole song or download it as a summer hit, you can find the link in the description. Not only under the Mediterranean Sea are secrets hidden, researchers have just discovered something incredible under Greenland. Something that was frozen there for a long time and is now changing our view of Greenland and the climate of the entire planet forever. The spectacular original recordings can be found in the video shown. Be sure to click on the top right and at the bottom left you will find another exciting video. Feel free to click on it. Otherwise, I would say see you in the next video. Take care, friends.